guys, for, so today I'm going to be talking about the six steps of recycling. There are some uh, different, there are some different places that plastic can go to. Landfills and incinerated and the best way is for the plastic to go is recycling. The, there are six steps. The first one is the collection, the gathering in, of the plastic waste. The, it depends on the public to put the plastic in the right bin or else it won't be recycled. So if it's in a normal bin, it won't be recycled. But the government has started a new system that goes to d different people's house to collect the plastic so that it's easier for the public and it, it brings more plastic to be recycled instead of to the landfill. Two is to be sorted. After the plastic has been collected, it is sorted into different areas depending on the, the depending on the properties that it has. It also depends on the facility. There are a few common ways to be sorted. First is color, and second is how it's made. This this process these process in different ways. The third is washing, to remove all the waste that isn't plastic. So if it's not all, all the plas waste that isn't plastic, the final project won't turn out right, and it won't, it will just be a waste. Um, the fourth is resizing, it's shredding and grinding of the plastic. So it's into little particles. These in, this incinerates, the, this increases the surface area, and as well as making it easier to reshape and transport and process. This also gives the facilities one last chance to remove all waste that isn't plastic. The fifth step is uh, identifying and uh, separation, uh, the identification and separation process of products. Um, the new, the now small product or uh, pieces of plastic are now transported determine the quality of the plastic. First is the test of the density. To, they do this, do, they do so by seeing the, if the particles float or sink. The ones that float are less dense than, than the ones that sink. I think that the ones that are less dense are recycled. It doesn't say in the places that I looked. I searched it up and saw, looked, but it didn't say anything about it. And then the second one is um, air classification. It also didn't say why, w what this is for and like how this works or which ones get recycled, but it's like how p particles, I think it's for like volume and stuff. So they see this by putting plastic into a tube and seeing which particles fly up and which fl particles like sl stay down and don't fly up to the wind and stuff. There are two more tests of uh, like for melting point and uh, color. This determines the collecting and analyzing samples of the batch that it's in. The final step is um, compounding. The final step is of the process is for the, is that the plastic is finally usable for like park benches and like recyclable bottles and stuff like that. So it's you. Um, this it, and this it process mashes and melts the pieces of plastic together. Throughout this process, plastic or plastic particles are may be moved to different steps of the process to save time and energy. What can there's only some kind of only there's only some kind of um. There's only some kind of plastics that actually can be recycled. Not all plastics can be recycled. It is 1P, 2PEHD, 5PP, 4PEBD, and there's also some that can't be recycled. 3PVC, 6PS, and 7 other. These may contain toxins that are bad for us and we can't use for outdoor materials and can get us sick and stuff like that so for thanks for watching my summer project and stuff i hope you enjoyed and learned something about recycling my where i got my information is at www.greentumble.com
If you want to see further information, this is kind of narrowed down into the bigger like parts of it, not into like the small itsy bitsy parts of it. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and recycle. It helps be a part of it. Thanks for watching.